Today we are attempting one of my all-time favorite challenges in The Sims. We're gonna build a house, but each room is a different budget. So by that I mean we're gonna build the shell of a house and then use a random number generator to tell us how much money we have to furnish each room. And that could end up with us getting like 27 simoleons to build a bathroom. Okay, good luck affording a toilet. And then somehow 20,000 simoleons to do the hallway. It's ridiculous and it is so much fun. So step one is to build the shell. And the problem is we don't want to go too extreme because there's a high chance that we won't be able to afford to finish it. I think I'll just throw something together really fast. Okay, I built this little guy. Emphasis on little because I kind of didn't realize how small the inside was, but it'll work. I also feel like we should be allowed to buy doors and windows outside of the budget because listen, the house doesn't work if it doesn't have a door. Oh man, I like this house. I'm going to be sad when it's ugly, genuinely. Also, things like stairs, we have to buy it now. All right, here's what I've got. Entryway living room, kitchen, dining room. They all have to be separate rooms so the challenge works. Although admittedly an open floor plan would probably be best for this one. And then upstairs, there's another hallway. We've got one bathroom and then two bedrooms. So it's not huge and my hopes are not high. I think the one thing I find the most weird is this wall being here, but I feel like it should be a separate room just for the sake of the challenge. But maybe we could furnish it separately. Like we spin the wheel separate for these two spaces, even though, you know, they're in the same room and there's not a wall separate them. Okay, I think the shell is now set up. This is where the fun begins. Or possibly the tears. There's no way to know for sure. Alright, here's how it goes. We're gonna use this random number generator to decide the budget for each room. The first we're gonna do is this hallway, but it's weird because it's just this one little space. We're gonna spin the wheel to see how much money we have just to do that space. And then I'll set the budget to whatever it says, and fingers crossed we can afford flooring. It's between 1 and 10,000 simoleons, and that means we could literally get 7 simoleons or like 9,500. There's no way to know for sure. <sighs> so, um, three, two, one, go. 764? Ugh. Okay, that might be okay. The space is really small. Money? 764. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess step one, I'd like to get a railing on the stairs. It probably shouldn't be an expensive railing, but a railing would be good. And I was also thinking that it might be nice to put some tile in the entryway, just to like separate it from the rest of the space. I'm so sorry if you hate that, because I kind of like it, but I, I can just see the comments already being like, are you kidding? That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Wouldn't that be nice though? Just some nice tile? I don't know what color. Maybe that, oh, maybe that one could be good. And then we'll have like wood flooring in the rest of it. I can't put it yet because it's cheating, but there'll be like wood floors, you know, over there. I think it'll look cool. Oh no, we have to buy the wallpaper separately too. This is the thing. If we can afford wallpaper in this room and not the other room, I'm going to be so sad. That would be a disaster. Oh, I can't put the- wait, this is so annoying. I can't put the wallpaper on that wall. Okay. I think I fixed it. What other things should I put in here? We still have like 600 simoleons. I was thinking maybe a little table. We just put this little plant there for like no reason. I kind of like it. Maybe like a coat rack. Oops. How much do coat racks cost? I was thinking the wall one. 150, okay. Oh, maybe a doormat? Another concern that I have, and I, I think you might relate to this, is the worry that nothing is going to match. Like, we're gonna spend money on something. Like, we'll make a really nice room, it's gonna be so detailed, and then the next one we'll have like four simoleons, and it'll be empty. I'm actually gonna put some columns in here to separate the space, and with that, we got six simoleons left, so I think that's all we can do. Now we're gonna do the living room. So cross your fingies that we can afford anything. Ooh, okay. 2,316. I think we can buy couches with that. That should be fine. Money. 2316. Okay. Okay. This is fine. We'll get a simple floor. Oh, don't go in there. <laughs> I can't be wasted money in there. I'm thinking probably the cheapest couch, unfortunately. Oh god. That's so big. I want to use it though. Oh, is it okay if that's like not touching the couches. <laughs> I don't know how- I don't know what's okay and what's not. Oh, I think we might be okay. Look, we can't get like a nice TV, but we can get a TV. Maybe even that one. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. Okay, plant. Perhaps books. Is there literally any other wallpaper? <laughs> Anything else would be better. Part of me is like, ooh, maybe this one from Parenthood? I don't know if those things look dumb together though. I, I'm not really sure. Uh... Uh, this bookshelf is 175? Doesn't even look good. Oh. 
I wish that I hadn't put that there because now I don't know what to do on this wall. Also this wall, really unsure. I'm trying to think if a poster would be out of place. It's a shame that art is so expensive. I mean, it makes sense. Art is very nice, but it's a real shame that it's so pricey. <laughs> I don't like it. Are there other wall decorations that are cheap? Oh, there's gotta be things from Eco Lifestyle, right? That's 50, this is 95. Is that like so out of place? Yeah, yeah it is. This guy's 70. Wait, wait, that could be good. What if? we had like two of them in different colors. Okay, I might actually get rid of this painting. I'm not gonna spend any more money in this room though, cause I don't think that I should, but I think it's okay. It could be better, but it's fine. Now the kitchen, cross your fingers. Oh God, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's so much money. 7,617, we can work with that. Money, 7,617. I think I'm gonna bring back the same tile from over there just to like, you know, bring it throughout the house. And thankfully we can actually afford <laughs> counters. In a miraculous turn of events, counters are actually in the budget. And believe it or not, appliances. That's right, we get to have a fridge. Big moment. I actually don't love this kitchen layout. It's kind of ugly, that's fine. Okay, that is the same color by the way, it's just, the lighting makes it look stupid. Oh, oh my God. Okay, you know what? I don't think we can use the, ah! What was I thinking using the fridges from this pack? <laughs> Back to the base game we go. These are bad enough as far as expense. This window is gonna look bad from the outside, but it's gonna look good from the inside when there's a sink under it. So I'm gonna keep it. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to keep the floor like that. Is that tile together weird? Maybe I should make it wood. And here's the thing, like if I was doing this, this is just an example, but if I was doing this not for a stupid challenge, I would probably have this be open, you know? Oh, we need a trash can. <laughs> Okay, one second before I forget. But yeah, if it weren't for the stupid challenge, it would probably be open. Oh, we have plenty of money. Look, I even have decorations. We can afford art. I mean, not much of it because I picked expensive art, but you know, I think I might just get a second light and then say the room is done. I actually really like that kitchen. I think it's nice. All right, the dining room. We've got 6,571. Why? <laughs> that is too much money for no reason. It's a dining room. You couldn't have given me that for the, for the living room? Really? Well, I feel like I better pick something nice now. Maybe I'll use the, the stuff that Harry made, the CC items. These aren't actually CC items, by the way. When I say that, these are items that used to be CC that The Sims added into the game officially, which is pretty cool if you ask me. We can get an expensive rug too if we want. Now we just got money to burn, so we can do whatever we like in here. We get like a fancy thing above the table. I mean, wow. That's actually kind of cheap. It's like 50 simoleons, but it looks good. Maybe we could use these. Those are expensive. Oh, we should get a better light too. Some sort of light fixture from the ceiling. I like those. Maybe a plant in the corner. I honestly feel like this room doesn't even need more than this. It's so small, you know, like it's, <laughs> that's the problem. We have all this money, but what else are you gonna add? Okay, I think that's pretty. If only I could put that in the living room. I might just leave it because I don't know what else I'd put in here. Truly, I don't know. Upstairs in this hallway, I'm actually hoping for some good money because I want to put a computer, but we'll see. 4,483, are you serious? 4,483. Yeah, I think I'll be getting my computer. I, I think I can afford it this time. And you know what? We can actually get a pretty nice one. So this kind of works out. I'm thinking we could put like a calendar on the wall, a painting. There's not a lot of space in here to put more though. <laughs> it's so small. Oh, whatever. Let's just do the bathroom. Come on. Oh, what? 8,142. Well, you know what? We haven't had any big problems yet. We haven't had any like, you have four simoleons type of things yet, which is good because we can actually get like a functional house together. And you know what else? We can get some really nice bathroom stuff. Like I can get a really expensive shower. You get an 1,800 simoleon toilet, some luxurious toilet paper, 50 bucks. Could have the golden sink if I wanted to. <laughs> Could also have a golden shower if I wanted to. Unfortunately, that's not really high on my priority list. Sorry, I'll stop. I have too much money. I literally don't know what to spend it on. I have too much money. I don't know what to spend it on. I'm, I'm putting in fancy towels, but <laughs> I don't know what else to put. Somebody in my Twitch chat said that whenever I put this thing above the toilet, they're gonna hit their head on it. And I never really thought about that before, but they're not wrong. Maybe we could have a bathrobe. Those sunflowers are expensive. Literally, what else would I put in here? A better ceiling light? Like, I don't know. There's not a lot of space for a rug. Like, it's just a weird room. Okay, let's do the kids room. What do we got? 6,060, okay, 60, 60. That's too much. I'm gonna do carpet. I may as well just make it bright, you know? You're giving me a lot of money to work with. Oh God. <laughs> 
too much power. Oh no. With great power comes great responsibility, and I think we all know that I should not have great power. Because look at what I do with it. I might give the kid a computer. I might as well. We can actually do all kinds of clutter. This is fun. One Direction? <laughs> this room's kind of cute. I really like it. I don't know what else to put. Whatever. I'll just do the parents' room. Please, God. Please give me something I can work with. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I spoke too soon. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, 838. 838? Oh, I was getting too ahead of myself. I was- I was acting too powerful. This is not good. <laughs> I think we'll be able to afford everything we need, but we're getting the cheapest bed. 100%. There's no- there's no way around that. And then- oh, maybe a nightstand. And then maybe a dresser. I can't even get the cheapest dresser! Are you kidding? This dresser is so cheap and I can't even afford it. It's only 240. I actually insist that I'm able to afford that dresser. I, I will use a different nightstand if I have to. Uh, the options are not good, but we have to have a dresser. Are you kidding? I can't- is that all we can have? I can't even afford a plan. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, well, there's the parents' room. Okay, now we have to spin for the exterior. That is like the wallpaper, the stairs, any fences, railings, landscaping, you know, maybe I want a patio table. <laughs> this is what we're spinning for now. Oh, like an outdoor trash can. So hopefully we can afford it. Six, okay. 6,000? I think this should be okay. We can- we can do with 6,000. I think we can actually afford some pretty decent columns, too. I feel like I probably shouldn't be getting too ahead of myself, though, because I have this problem with being like, Oh, I'm rich! We got plenty of money! And then I'll spend it all, and then at the end be like, Oh, oh no. I'm not rich, I don't have plenty of money, and we're out. <laughs> okay, so I just put a flooring there, because I wanted to put a roof trim. I was thinking we could do something like this, or like this. I was trying- I was thinking about getting like a bonus layer basically, but that doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> so maybe that was a mistake. Do you think it looks weird like that? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't think it looks weird, but maybe it looks weird. <sighs> oh man. I don't think I'm very good at building in The Sims. Sometimes I think I'm good, and then other times- other times I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, something I like to do when there's a wraparound porch, and I'm not sure if this is a good spot for it because it's kind of a small porch, but Sometimes I like to make it look like the flooring wraps around the porch with it. It's free and it looks cute. It's like a simple way to impress your friends, you know? <laughs> if you press Control F, you can get diagonal tiles. And if you use the angled bracket keys, you know, like the greater than less than signs, you can rotate the floor. It usually looks pretty nice. Okay, as far as necessities go, we're gonna need a trash can. I'll just stick that here before I forget. I got a nice backyard too. I feel like that helps. It fills up the lot. Okay, I used that blue front door. I think I want these to be blue as well. At least on the inside. It's free and it looks nice. Maybe a white paneling outside? I don't know. Something simple. I'm gonna do columns on all the corners too. This is actually starting to add up. <laughs> I thought I had enough money, but now I'm like, hmm, wait, will I be able to afford landscaping? We only have 24 400 left. All right, let's get some outdoor lights by the doors. Hmm. <laughs> Will I be able to afford landscaping? Stay tuned to find out. How much do trees cost? Some of them are cheap, but others are not so cheap. This is only 70? Oh my gosh. Well, let's get a giant oak tree then. I love that it's starting to be fall in my game. That's like exactly what I want it to look like. That's so pretty. I'm thinking about getting some little garden pots in the front too. Ah, oh, I'm gonna wanna do something on the porch. Something cheap, like a bench, or maybe like if these chairs. It adds up so fast. I hate how that looks. I literally hate how that looks. This is a big mistake. What I'm doing right now, massive mistake. Simsy, you can't afford a chess table. It looks good though. I'm gonna put some bushes in the back. Thank God they lowered the price of landscaping because otherwise we would not be able to do this. Okay concept, because it's free, we make a little terrain paint pathway, and then we go from the front yard into the backyard, and then like from there up to the, the stairs. Oh, I don't know how to make this not look dumb, because I don't really want it to be super wide. It's a little bit dumb. Oh, I had high hopes. I thought I could pull it off, but maybe I can't. Oh, what if this whole- wait, what if the whole little side yard is- no. Should I put- some terrain paint, like to make a fake patio though. I think I will. I don't know if I'll have it be open though. I might just close it. How? Hang on. <laughs> the tree's in the fence. Kayla, how did you manage that? I like to put terrain paint around the outside of the house, like underneath the foundation. I think this one's cute. It's a shame that there's a couple weird parts of it. <laughs> Because it had potential. Okay, I only have 37 simoleons left. <laughs> I think I might put a little mat in the front porch. I think- I think that's done. Look, I too wish that it was different. But as far as challenge houses go, 
This is probably one of the better ones. At least we got an exterior. It actually looks like a house. It's kind of impressive. I'll link my first couple attempts at this down below because you'd be shocked to see how bad they were. <laughs> we got lucky this time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Do you know what? One of my number one requests for The Sims is a porch swing. Imagine if there was a porch swing on this house. Wouldn't that be adorable?